Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. The Lexus DX was unveiled alongside the new Lexus DX. The market won 3 row 7 seater SUV it seems, and the TX will replace the RXL which won't exist in the latest generation. It will be built at Toyota Indiana Plain, the first Lexus to roll out from the stores. The new Lexus DX measure 5,160mm long, 1,990mm wide, and 1,780mm tall with a wheelbase of 2,950mm. As a comparison, the latest generation Lexus RX is a 4,980mm long, 1,920mm wide, and 1,696mm tall with a 2,850mm wheelbase. So, the TX has a wheelbase about 100mm longer. Among the three engine options, one stands out a plug-in hybrid based on a 3.5-liter normally aspirated V6 engine and a CPT gearbox, which in general has been replaced by the four-cylinder 2.4-liter turbo almost everywhere in the latest Toyota and Lexus cars. It lives on a TX and in direct for all-wheel drive system is a pair with an electric motor on the rear axle called the TX 550H+. It is the first ever application of this particular combination. Total output is 406 cents power. The TX 500H is a hybrid without plug-in capability, pairing a 2.4-liter turbo inline 4 engine with a 6-speed auto to a direct 4 electric rear axle. Total output is 366 cents power and 554 newton meter of torque. The best TX is a TX350 powered by the same 2.4 turbo but with no electrification, using an 8 speed auto gearbox suffering a total output of 275 cents power and 430 newton meter of torque.